Hi, I'm Todd Smith with the Broker Department. Today I want to talk about Section 5A of the contract. Anytime we're in a competitive market, it's not uncommon for sellers to want the buyer to waive the inspection period or to, you, to counter back with language that the buyer agrees to accept the property as is, no repairs. And although that sounds kind of interesting and we know what they mean, it's not always the best way to write it. So whether it's the seller countering or the buyer putting it in their offer, really we like to avoid the words as is uh, at all costs. Section 5A really says that the property is being sold in its present physical condition and the seller isn't making any warranties or representations regarding the fitness or condition of the property, but that they do agree to repair and maintain the premises so it's in substantially the same condition at closing that it was in at the time of acceptance. In other words, it really should be called the as was clause. So we have to be careful anytime in an offer or a counter offer that we agree to as is, no repairs, we could be negating that seller warranty. So one way to address this in the offer or in a counter offer, if we're really just trying to say that the buyer is agreeing not to give the seller a laundry list of requested repairs, we, we would rather say that the buyer's options on the buyer inspection notice, which is the first leg of the Binzer process outlined in section 6J, will be limited to either accepting the premises or rejecting the premises. I'm either in or I'm out. I'm either you know all in or all gone. Uh, and that way we're just basically shrinking the Binzer, if you've ever heard me say that on the phone, shrink the Binzer process down from three options to two options and not negate the seller warranty in section 5A. So if you're a My Home Group agent, for more information or videos like this one, Go to the broker corner section by clicking on the broker department tile on your My Agent portal. Or if you have a question or any other scenarios, give us a call on the broker hotline or shoot us a quick email.